No one is talking about how hard it is to juggle real life while trying to learn tech at the same time. So I'm here to tell you what it really takes to help you balance it all and exactly how I was able to do it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then go ahead and stay right. tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Mika. And on this channel, we talk about all things tech and how to pivot to change your everyday life. If that sounds like something you said, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, you already know that I came from, from customer service to banking to then insurance and then later finally made it into tech. And I did it while working a full-time job and also raising kids. Trying to balance a full-time job while learning tech at the same time is not easy because some days you are exhausted, you're tired, you're overwhelmed, you beat down, you just don't feel like adulting today. Some of you may be wondering, is this even worth it? I've been there waking up early to study before work, trying to do tutorials and in, uh, mock interviews on my way into my job, trying to study and prep and go with flashcards and write queries on my lunch break, and then also fighting sleep to go over SQL queries before bed after I done put the kids to sleep. Here's the truth, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It doesn't get easier, you just actually get stronger. Because the more consistent you are, the more it becomes part of your routine. So how did I make it work for me? Number one, I set realistic goals for myself. I didn't say that, oh, I'm going to master SQL um, in a week. Nah, 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 nah. What I did was is that I said, okay, I'm just going to learn select statement this week. Then next week, I'm going to move on to joins. Then the week after that, I'm going to start writing a query every single day and starting from the beginner, then moving to the middle, uh, intermediate, then moving on to advanced. Them kind of small shifts actually kept me from burning out. So my thing is, is that set realistic goals. Don't sit here and say, I'm gonna master all of SQL in one month. You're not gonna do that. Honey, I've been doing SQL for almost nine years and I still ain't mastered it, okay? <laughs> and when your goals are realistic, then that means you're actually gonna be able to achieve them and that will encourage you and motivate you to keep moving forward. The second thing that worked out for me was that I actually built a routine around my life, not the other way around. I knew realistically that I didn't have four hours every day to dedicate to that. No, I did not. I literally had one hour in the morning and I had literally one to two, one to one and a half hour in the afternoon. That was it. Because I still had to go to work that went from like 7.30 a.m. all the way to like four o'clock p.m. By the time I get um, get off work, then I have to go to my second job, which is being a full-time mom. Then I also had knew that I had to go pick up the kids. I had to come home and help out with homework. I had to cook dinner. I had to make sure that um, they got baths. Girl, before you know it, it's already 11 o'clock. So where, is, where can I dedicate four hours of my time? Where? And don't let it be a Wednesday, honey, because then we got Bible study. The kids got choir rehearsal. One child got uh, Jubilee. Like... So what I ended up having to do is I would get up before my kids and while I'm actually in there brushing my teeth and washing my face and doing my hair, that's when I'm going over uh, note cards and flash cards and all of that. That's when I'm doing that. I turned my car into a classroom on my way to work. I used to listen to YouTube tutorials and all that like they were vlogs and like they were podcasts. So when I would eat my lunch in the, in the break room, I'm sitting there going over, going over my homework, going over flash cards, going over my notes, listening to YouTube tutorials over SQL and how to write different codes and things like that. That was when I had the free time. So the little bit of time that I did have is when I squeezed it in. So that was me being able to basically build a routine that was around my life. So you can't sit there and say, well, I'm just waiting for free time and then I'm going to study. No, you have to schedule your dream life like it's an appointment, like something that is very important that has to be done. And the third thing was, is that I actually started using my job like it is my data playground. So I started thinking like an actual data analyst while working my full-time job. I started basically saying things like, how many claims did I actually get this week compared to last week? How many claims did I get today that more than I got yesterday? What were some of the claims? What were some of the most losses that you saw? Were there more um, comprehensive claims than there were collision claims? Honey, all of that is data start looking like at your job like it is your data playground and that's exactly what i did i didn't wait until i was ready to start applying for jobs and now i want to start acting like a data analyst no 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 again if your job is going to make you lose your mind 
then my thing is, is that allow it to pay for your future. Start looking at some of the data that you're actually doing and turn and start thinking like a data analyst while you're in your current position. So trying to pivot into tech while working a full-time job can feel virtually impossible. Between work, family, life, it is hard to find time to study, let alone retain what you've been learning, right? And that's why I am so excited that today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver. With thousands of visuals, interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and yes, even AI. What makes Brilliant different is how you learn. Every lesson is hands-on and problem-based. So you're not just watching tutorials, you're actually playing with the concepts and figuring things out step by step. That style of learning is proven to be way more effective than traditional lectures. It sticks especially when you're balancing a busy schedule. If you're exploring coding, their programming with function courses gives you real interactive practice writing code and understanding how logic flows. And their How AI Work course breaks down one of the fastest growing areas in tech in a way that's visual, approachable, and even fun. And because you can learn from anywhere, on your phone, laptop, or even your tablet, it's easy to stay consistent, even with a packed calendar. Just 15 minutes a day can add up to real progress. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash housecalltoberry2. Scan the QR code on the screen or click on the link in the description box below. Brilliant also gives our viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. If you're balancing a full-time job, but still dreaming about pivoting into tech, Brilliant is the perfect way to build skills that fits your schedule and your goals. So, what other excuse do you have now, girl? So what you need to know is while learning tech, while working a full-time job, it's going to require sacrifice. You cannot continue to do your same habits and continue to do the same thing and think that you're going to get something different or you're going to learn. It's not going to work. The second thing you're going to need is structure. You're going to have to come up with a plan. When it comes down to you wanting to learn tech while working a full-time job, you're going to have to plan it. Don't say that, oh, I remember actually write it down, make it visual, put you some sticky notes on your headboard, whatever you need to do, plan it. The last thing is going to be self-discipline. And the reason why this is important, because honey, nobody's going to check in on you. Nobody is going to be there to hold you accountable for what you're doing. So you're going to have to be disciplined. And yes, like I said, yes, I, I was tired sometimes. Yes, I didn't feel like it sometimes. Yes, I was overwhelmed. Yes, there were times where I went to sleep and I cried because I couldn't figure out why life was this hard. But what I'm saying is, is that I decided that I'm going to hold myself accountable. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to create me a plan and I'm going to stay disciplined and I'm going to make it happen. And it paid off because it's going to give you something back in return. It's going to give you confidence in your ability to grow. It's going to give you a new career that's going to give you new options and freedom and proof that you can build a new version of your life. There is no perfect time. It's just right now. And if you're waiting for things to slow down, it won't. The real balance comes from learning how to move differently, not waiting for life to make it easy. The truth is I didn't have it all figured out either. I promise you I didn't. I just decided that I was just tired of being sick and tired. At some point, you do get tired of struggling. At some point, you do get tired of being broke. At some point, you get tired of going to a job that mentally drains you and and that mentally drains you and gives you anxiety and takes the life out of you. Where to the point where you come home, you have nothing left to give. So if you are trying to learn tech while balancing a full-time job, I'm just here to tell you this. You don't need the perfect conditions. You just need a commitment. So if this helped you in any way or motivated you or whatever, go ahead again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up so that way, um, because doing that actually does help my channel out a lot. I really do hope that you guys can find some sort of strength and understanding that it's not going to be easy to pivot into tech um, while working a full-time job and trying to balance all of that. And then comment down below and tell me what are some of the challenges that you're facing while you're trying to learn tech. I would love to know that, okay? All right. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.